Hi, I'm Dr. McGowan with True You Weight Loss. I'm a bariatric endoscopist and obesity medicine specialist, and I'd like to talk with you today about currently available medications to assist with weight loss. So whether you're using a medication in a medically supervised weight loss program or following a procedure or surgery, the current medications can be very helpful in controlling appetite and helping to facilitate weight loss. But there are many misconceptions about current medications. Many patients view these as diet pills, but actually we've come quite a long way in the safety profile and effectiveness of medications. Many of the current misconceptions include that they're dangerous, that they don't work, that there's tons of side effects, and that they are only short term. But let's dispel some of those myths and misconceptions and discuss the specific options that are currently available. So the medications that I discussed today are FDA approved for the following indications. Obesity, which is a body mass index of 30 or higher. Overweight, with a body mass index of 27 or higher, with coexisting medical problems such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes. Currently available medications include Orlistat, Phentermine, Phentermine plus topiramate, also known as Qsimia, Liraglutide, also known as Saxenda, and Naltrexone plus Bupropion, also known as Contrave. Please note that beta-HCG or HCG is not FDA approved and is not a weight loss medication, but more to come on that later. Now all of these medications are prescription only with the exception of Orlistat, which is available over the counter. And note that none of these should be used during pregnancy. So let's start with Orlistat. This medication is available over the counter or at higher doses is available by prescription. And Orlistat works by blocking digestion of fat. Specifically, it blocks an enzyme called pancreatic lipase, which is key in digesting fats. This leads to an increased passage of fat through the small intestine and out the body. And as a result, you do not digest approximately one third of the fat that you eat and you'll lose weight. The expected weight loss with Orlistat is approximately 5% of body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you could expect to lose approximately 10 pounds. However, because it blocks the absorption of fat, Orlistat can lead to some very bothersome side effects. These include gas, bloating, loose stools, and even oily discharge. And nobody likes oily discharge. So in general, this is not one that we frequently recommend, but it is an option and it's very safe. The key to mitigating these side effects is to eat less than 30% fat in your diet and then you'll have less of the bothersome side effects. And in time, most of these will improve. The other risk of taking this medication is it could affect your absorption of certain vitamins, including A, D, E, and K, what we call the fat-soluble vitamins. So it's important to supplement with a multivitamin. Okay, moving on to Phentermine. Now, Phentermine has been available forever. It was actually approved in 1959 and then it's been available since then. Phentermine is not Fenfen. So Phentermine is a component of Fenfen, which was available previously but removed from the market because the other component, the other Fen, Fenfluramine caused heart valve problems, but Phentermine itself is safe and still FDA approved and still a great medication in certain instances. Though Phentermine is classified as a stimulant, it really works through a different mechanism. Primarily, it increases your sense of fullness or satiety and causes some suppression of appetite. Phentermine is only FDA approved for 12 weeks, though can be used safely for longer than that. And typically we would use these medications for a minimum of 12 weeks to assess response. And if it's effective, we can continue using them longer term. As with Orlistat, the expected weight loss with Phentermine is approximately 5% of body weight. And the main side effects of Phentermine would be elevated blood pressure, anxiety, sometimes insomnia, or feeling jittery. A lot of these will resolve with time, though they can be bothersome to some patients. Next is combination Phentermine and Topiramate, also known as brand name Qsimia. This is a newer combination medication which shows better weight loss outcomes than just Phentermine. So Phentermine we've talked about. Topiramate is the other component Topiramate was developed as a seizure uh, medication or a migraine medication, and it was found early on that one of the main side effects when patients were taking this was weight loss. So it was later investigated, and it is now known that topiramate works through receptors in the brain, specifically the hypothalamus, to induce weight loss, primarily by curbing appetite. And in combination with phentermine, we can see double the weight loss that we see with phentermine alone, so potentially 10% of your body weight. Specific side effects of topiramate include tingling in the fingers, mouth, and toes. This is usually mild. Uh, and uh, not dangerous. It can also cause kidney stones and potentially glaucoma, and it can cause birth defects, so uh, you cannot get pregnant when taking this medication, but overall it's very well tolerated. So looking at independent studies, Qsimia, or this combination, is currently uh, perhaps the most effective weight loss medication, but it depends on an individual person's response. 
The next medication to discuss is naltrexone plus bupropion. Bupropion is also known as Welbutrin, which is an antidepressant and anti-anxiety medication. Naltrexone is an opiate receptor blocker and is used in opiate addiction and may or may not produce further weight loss when used in combination with bupropion, but the combination is FDA approved under the name Contrave. Average weight loss with this medication is approximately 5%, and side effects would include nausea, constipation, diarrhea, and antidepressants can cause sexual dysfunction. And keep in mind that this medication cannot be used if you have a history of seizures. Personally, I find this medication to be less effective than some of the other options, and so it's not typically a first-line medication in my program. It can be useful for someone who's also trying to stop smoking because bupropion is also helpful in that circumstance. Okay, moving on to liraglutide, also known as Saxenda. Liraglutide is an injectable medication. Patients inject once a day using a pen-like device with a small needle and inject the medicine under the skin. Liraglutide is a medication that boosts a naturally occurring hormone in the body called GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1. This hormone is a very powerful one and helps to promote weight loss and also helps to control blood glucose. So this medication can also be used for diabetes. But for weight loss, the medication works through the brain to control hunger. It also works through the stomach and slows stomach emptying so you feel full for a longer period of time. So boosting these levels of GLP-1 will promote weight loss. And the average weight loss is approximately five to 10% of body weight, so also fairly significant. In my program, we like liraglutide in combination with some of the procedures that we perform. For instance, the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty or the Orbera balloon. These are procedures which slow stomach emptying by their very nature. So when we combine that with liraglutide, we get a further slowing of stomach emptying, which can boost weight loss. And there are some early studies showing that weight loss can be increased by approximately 5% with the addition of these medications. So if you take a procedure like ESG, the endoscopic sleeve, with an average of 20% weight loss, we can then boost that to 25% average, which is then quite significant and nearly equivalent to a surgical procedure. Common side effects of Saxenda include nausea, which is why the medication is increased week by week until the maximum dose is reached. It can also cause constipation, diarrhea, and decreased appetite clearly, because that's how it's working. Very rarely it has been linked to pancreatitis and a rare form of thyroid cancer in animals. But overall, the safety profile is excellent and it has very few interactions with other medications or in patients with other health problems. The biggest problem with Saxenda though is cost. If it is not covered by insurance here in the United States, it is really expensive typically more than $1,000 a month, and really not a good option in that scenario. Okay, so what about HCG? You may have seen weight loss clinics advertising HCG for weight loss. HCG stands for human chorionic gonadotropin, and there are clinics that promote this as a weight loss medication. It's injected uh, into the body, and typically combined with a very low calorie diet, less than 500 calories per day. Please note, HCG is not a weight loss medication. It is not approved by the FDA, and multiple studies have shown it doesn't cause weight loss, so it should never be used. Unfortunately, it is still out there. So in fact, the American Medical Association has stated decades ago that HCG is not appropriate for weight loss. The FDA mandates that all preparations of this need to include a warning label, uh, saying that it cannot be used for weight loss, but it is still out there, use off-label. So do not use HCG for weight loss. And keep in mind, it's dangerous to follow a very low-calorie diet for a prolonged period of time. And a low, very low-calorie diet is actually not more effective than a standard diet. So uh, in other words, not an option, not safe, don't use it. So there you have it. We currently have multiple very effective and actually very safe medications to help with weight loss. So for our patients, we look at these options and choose what we think would be the best based on their other medical problems, maybe looking at the side effect profile and also considering cost. And then it's very important after starting these medications to closely monitor weight loss and ensure that the medicine is working. For more information on current weight loss medications as well as endoscopic weight loss options, you can find out more information at trueuweightloss.com.